Welcome back to Axolotl Army. Today I'm going to show you guys how I like to do my water changes. But first things first, I gotta feed Pika because she can be quite messy when it comes to eating earthworms. Alright, so this next step is absolutely necessary if you're using tap water, you need to add water conditioner to it. I prefer Prime, and you just read the bottle and follow the instructions and it'll tell you how much to add to your bucket of water. I also like to just give it a stir just to get things going. Now I'm going to start off with my 10 gal tank that I'm trying to cycle. So there's nothing in there right now, but I'm going to do this first so that I can add the dirty water from my tank that already has an oxlotl in it. Also just going to throw in a little self promo here, I do have merch and it's completely customizable. I can put it on any shirt or hoodie that you want and I can make it whatever color you want to fit your axolotl. So a good thing to mention that for water changes you will definitely need some 5 gallon buckets. I have two and then I have a smaller bucket that I use to fill my tanks back up with clean water only. No dirty water goes in this. Another thing you will need is a siphon and it's basically like a little vacuum to suck out anything that's in your tank that should not be in there. And you just want to move everything around in there, get in all of your decor, and sometimes you'll have to take the decor out. And what I do is I swish it around in the bucket of dirty water just to kind of get any debris off of it. And then I return it safely back into the tank, making sure that I'm not squishing my axolotl. The thing I would absolutely recommend is a turkey baster, which I didn't do a very good job of showing, but it's very necessary for spot cleaning on days when you're not doing a full water change, but it's also helpful when you're doing a water change for things that the siphon may not be strong enough to actually suck up. And another great thing to mention is that you don't need to shut off your filter when you're doing water changes, it's not really necessary, but I did have to clean a part of my filter and so for this video I had to shut it off and it's a great time to do that when you're doing a full water change because that siphon will catch anything that your filter lets out and that way you don't have to sit there and spot clean a bunch of stuff that is just falling out of your filter. Also, side note, it's a great time to get to know your axolotl and try and get them to interact with your hands so they're not so frightened of you. Alright, so by now hopefully your water conditioner has done its job and removed all the chlorine from your tap water and it should really only take 10 minutes for that. So you just want to take out the siphon and start adding back in the water that is dechlorinated and is the same temperature as your existing tank water while spot cleaning just to make sure you get all the debris. Next, if your filter's off, you're going to want to put in your own tank's water back into the filter because if you don't, it will most definitely fry your motor and will ruin all the money that you've spent on your fancy new filter. And I like to just kind of clean off the front of my tanks with a rag. I have so many rags in my room and I just don't like seeing water spots on my glass. So that's just a personal preference. Now I have this weird garbage can hose setup that I connected to the underside of my sink and I just keep a little air stone inside of it to make sure that the water isn't stagnant. It's not the prettiest, but it really does the trick. So a lot of you guys have been asking for a Pika update, and as you can see, <laughs> she's sassy as ever. But she's very, very friendly and has no problem with me holding her. And mind you, I'm not actually ripping onto her. I'm giving her enough space so that she could freely move away if she wants to. You can gently pet them, but you don't want to be too aggressive with it because it will rub off their delicate slime coat, which is basically their immune system. And as I said, I'm not holding on to her at all. She could move whenever she wants, but she really likes to chill in my hand for whatever reason. So 
looking at this, I guess, aerial view, um, you can see that her body is roughly the same size as her head. She's not too skinny. She's not too fat. Um, that's not her ribs that are showing. That's not actually a thing. That's just part of her body. That's part of every Axolotl's body. But her gills are nice and fluffy. They're not curled forward except for her one little wonky gill. And even though she doesn't want to get off my hand, I can gently let her go and she'll just do her own thing in her tank. So I hope that this video was helpful for anyone who has questions about how to do water changes. You can always comment down below if you have more questions or DM me on Instagram as OxLittleArmy. And I'm really happy that I could give you guys an update on Pika. She is healthy and happy and loving her new autumn home in her 40 gal breeder tank. Thanks again for watching!